survivors, I'm going to take you through me getting ready for my coaching calls today. So I start off by washing my face with Codex. I use the brightening cleanser from them. And then I like to use this moisturizer. It's great it's for brightening. And I like to use that and just put some on my face. I like to put some on the neck. I like to bring it down. Just do a little facial massage. As we're putting on my moisturizer. Make sure everything that you do to your face, you do to your neck. You want it to be looking pretty and moist like your faces. And then next we have the nourishing oil. I really like this. I have tried so many oils that have made me break out. It's just like congested my skin. And I have not been breaking out with this. I do have like a little blemishes because I am about to start my period soon. But other than that, this oil is amazing and it doesn't help you with hormones. <laughs> Only you can balance that with foods, vitamins, etc. Go to doctors, holistic doctors. But I feel like if you don't break out, it's just it just happens. especially when it's that time of the month coming up. I get all my hormones and stuff beforehand, like a surge right beforehand. And then a little bit in between just depends how that period is. It's getting everywhere. And then just bringing it down. The reason why you do this instead of up is because it's working with the lymphatic drainage a bit. And there's certain videos to watch on that. You guys should check them out. Maybe I'll link a couple. But now I am going to put on my foundation. I'm going to start off with using a sponge. I like to use Oob. It's U-V-E, and these sponges hold less bacteria than normal makeup sponge, so I really like that, and I just like their company. They're a great family-owned company, and now we're going to use Smashbox. I use Studio Skin 24-Hour Hydra Foundation. I use the 1.15 Skin Tone Fair Light undertone warm peach because I do have a hint of red to my skin and I like that this makeup line kind of matches more so to red tints because I feel that there's so many lines out there that are orange more so or just like you know the orange tint and they don't have like the peach or like the red tint to it so I like this for my complexion I've also used Beauty Counter, which I do like, but I tend to stick with Smashbox for your foundation. I stay away from MAC completely for foundation. That will congest your skin a lot. And it was so popular. And I'm just running out, so I'm doing this. I don't recommend doing this because you can spread bacteria that way. Um, I'm just running out, so I'm using the last of it. I like to use everything to the end and use all my products. So I like to just 
do some simple regular makeup for coaching. And there's still a lot in there pretty much. And just dab it on. You wanna blend it into the hairline. And I actually did go to cosmetology school. I've worked with a lot of great makeup artists as well. Sarah Vaughn, she also owns a salon or like a skin spa in Nashville. She's worked with Connie Britton, Carrie Washington, so many great people. And she is my sister's friend, one of my sister's friends. So when I was 16, she would always do my makeup and I would always hear her stories about what it was like to work in Hollywood and work in the industry. And I thought it was so cool. I always wanted to do makeup, but I wanted a family and I didn't want those long hours. And it's funny how life works out that I work in the industry now. But we're just doing makeup for my coaching session today. I do moving past trauma every Monday with Call Your Landry. And it's like a series of five week calls that you can sign up for. And it's just great. It's great to connect with other survivors. I just want to make sure that I'm getting enough coverage everywhere. You know, going underneath the eye, some people are scared to do this. Just over time, practice makes perfect. And sometimes you still gotta practice when you've been out of touch for a while. So just finishing up the eye. And normally you could put concealer on the eye. I'm just using foundation. Even though I, re I recommend to do a good primer on the eye because that will really make your eyeshadow stick and not run. And that's super important. So making sure just getting all the crevices, patting it in, blending in the sides, going down to the neck a little bit, because you don't want to have that line. You want to blend it into your neck. And then we let it sit for a minute. And then I just like to, you know, get it to air out. We'll just set a bit. And then if you have setting spray, you can spray your setting spray because I'm just doing simple makeup. I don't wanna use too many products today. So I will show you what I do next. So I'm going to do the eyebrows next because I always like to have like kind of that baseline and my eyebrows, when I feel like I do my eyebrows, it really gives me like the baseline for like my blush, the angles, everything like that. So I like to use Anastasia. I'm just going through my makeup bag right now. Isn't it cute? My friend Sydney gave it to me. She does lashes in Orange County. She used to do my lashes, but I prefer not to get them done anymore because it was quite a hassle. And to me, nothing is more painful than getting your eyelashes plucked off. So it's fun. All right. So we are finding it. I have a couple in here because I tend to stock up. So I have this one, but I'm looking for the one that has the brush on the, the end. And sorry, I'm not more prepared. I was just kind of doing this in profit. But now I'm finding stuff, so it will be more organized later on. at the very bottom. Okay. 
So we have Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's like the little medium brown. So it's the like the little pencil. And first you're gonna get the brush side and then you're gonna brush up your eyebrows. I like to get mine dyed and tinted. I love to get mine laminated when I have money to do so, but also like coastal brow bar I heard is great if you're in Orange County. So you want to start to do just like a line as like a base. You come up, go underneath. So there's your line. Now do it on the other side to match. Okay. And then now you're gonna start to whisk on some eyebrows. Start to do this. See, we landed it in. Just whisking them on. That one looks pretty good, I feel. Let me whisk on the other side. You know, as they can pull back and do it from afar too. Because it's so hard, especially when you haven't been practicing to get uneven eyebrows. That's why it helps to have them professionally shaped beforehand, just makes it easier. And it depends how you like your eyebrows, but I find it easier when they're laminated and they're brushed up to do them. Right now they're not laminated, so I'm having a hard time with them, not going to lie. I also have to fill it in a bit more because on this side, it's in a little bit more. Beautiful, I think those look okay. So now I'm gonna move on and we're gonna do my cheeks and we're gonna do a little bit of just like contouring the face. So I like to use Radical. It is Compact Deluxe Contouring Powder Dark number four. So you could tell I've been using it for a while. It also comes with a little mirror. So I like to use this brush. 
I honestly got it from a brush kit. I can't remember what, but my mom gave it to me for Christmas. And oh, it's by Master of Beauty Contour. It's exactly what we're going to do. Contour the cheeks. Like to bring it up. Do the other side. This side is funny. I have like a dry spot or something where it doesn't want to stick in one spot sometimes. So I like to get it, keep my face moist with Codex. And when I keep up with my skincare, it usually goes on great. Beautiful. Now we're going to go up here, forehead. I'm going to go down the chin, get that line, just so everything looks defined. I like a defined chin. Then blend down a little bit. And then I like to go over it with another brush. This one is by MAC. It is 129. So I just like to go blend in the forehead a bit, blend in the cheeks a bit more. Then we blend in the jaw. Make sure you blend it into your neck nicely. You don't want it to look so just like caked on. See, it looks more defined now. Looks great. And then now we're gonna do some highlighter in the eyes real quick. This is MAC. It is Nylon Frost Eyeshadow. And then we are going to use just this brush. I believe it's by the Beauty Collection as well. MAC also has a great one like this too. So we're going to bring on some frost. Just do it on the inside here and the inside eye. Highlight the top. We may go back over it later. Just put some highlighter of nylon frost on the upper lid. And then we're gonna bring some more highlighter to our life. So this is MAC. This is 10-9-S, but something I did to it, I took my shearing scissors and I made it more, less fluffy, where I'm able to get more defined. So now we are going to take some MAC highlighter. It is soft and gentle, mineralized skinish, skin finish. That's what it's called. <laughs> so we are going to open this, put some underneath the eye. Just going to highlight here. And then we're going to bring it down the middle. Boop, boop. And some highlighter on the upper lip. It's very important to get that nose because look, shiny nose. It looks great. And you know who taught me about this? 
is my friend Kat. She's a great makeup artist. I'll try to attach her handle. So I'm done with this and it looks great. So now we're gonna do a little bit more contouring. So we're gonna take this, it's MAC. I love a lot of my makeup brushes by MAC. They have really great stuff, but there is a lot of great stuff out there. Like Uve makes a great line of makeup brushes. So this is gonna be for my contouring. So we're gonna bring back out the radical that I had. Might have dropped it, we're doing great. And here it is. There we go, guys. <laughs> We're going to bring this, and this is why I love to have my eyebrows done. And then you see with the cheeks too, like, it's in line with everything. It lines everything up. So now we're going to take it from the eyebrow, and we're going to swipe it down. Eyebrow, and swipe it down. And do it on the other side as well. This I learned from my friend Danny. He's a great hairstylist, but he also does makeup as well. And he works on so many music videos. He worked on the Ariana Grande music video. He didn't do her makeup, but he did a lot of the girls' makeups in there. And I was like, oh, he's amazing. So do it on the other side. Swipe down. On the other side. Swipe down. So now from here, we go into blending because with contouring, you always need to blend afterwards. And for that, I have this. It's by IT. It's great for blending. It says blending concealer. So that's what we're going to do, but we're going to blend powder instead. So we're just going to blend the nose. So that the line's not so defined. Do it on the other side. We got a contoured nose now. Yay, <laughs> get excited. Okay, so next we are going to do the lids. So I like to use translucent powder. This is Kat Von D, love Kat Von D stuff. She has really great eyeliners, lipsticks. She's just great. And I heard her makeup is really great for covering up tattoos she has a really great makeup line for that so check her out we're gonna take this brush it's from target Sonia Kashkush I don't know how to say her name but there we go um Sonia Kash UK so it's Sonia K A S H U K. Say I like to say it like my old dog Cash. He was a great dog. So we're gonna just put this under the eye. I honestly like to put some right here too, just because I notice that my makeup tends to fall there. Not's giving you a great area. It's also gonna make it like wider under your eyes. In my opinion, looks great. 
I just randomly get eyeshadow fall on my lip. So I do that to collect the eyeshadow fall. We already did highlighting the upper lid inside. And I like to do it beforehand because I put the powder. So when you put the powder down, it's going to really make everything set. So I like to use this Chanel Compact. It is Lise Beige. It is Belle Mine Neutral Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette Medium. So it has some neutrals in here and then it has like a darker, I wouldn't say this black per se, but it's like a, like a you know, darker gray. So next, we are going to use this. This one's by MAC. It is 2, 8, or 2, 3, 9S. 2, 3, 9S. So we're going to use this. This is one of my favorite brushes. We're just going to take this color right here of the natural color. And we're going to apply it to the lid. Line. Get a little bit up on the lid. And then we're going to take in another brush. And this is part of the, oh, antimicrobial part of the U. So you're going to take it and we're going to blend. There we go, it looked good. And then put a little black on the lid today. And this is gonna be like, usually like how I normally do my makeup to be honest. And I'll show you this look. Just making sure of the right one. So I don't have the one that I normally use. But we'll use this. I just want this head a little bit flatter. So I'm going to wet it. I have some water. I'm going to just wet it a little bit. Get the water not as damp, so just like use this, go back and forth. And then we're gonna take it, and we're gonna take the not the black out, but the dark gray. And we're gonna just go right here. And feather it out. Or here on the other side, just feather it up. You want it 
you want to go up towards the corner of your eyebrow. And going to, since it's not as wet now, go into the crease right here. Just do that. We'll do it on the other side. Fill in the crease. Sweet. We're almost done, right? I look great. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, we're almost done, but we've got to do a few finishing touches. So I like to take this and that's MAC 224S. And then we're going to blend. This is a great blending one. I also, I just like to use it on the darker colors though, because the brush bristles are black. So I like to use it on darker colors. So we're just going to blend. And blend into the lid. Here we go. Looking great. I'll do the same on this side. Beautiful. Now the eyeshadow is actually all done. Unless you just want to go up, free highlight the top. And then the black, we're going to do eyeliner now. <laughs> So uh, I like eyeliner, just liquid eyeliner, NYX. Really great, honestly. MAC also has a great one, Kat Von D. Just wing it. This looks terrible because I'm doing it from my camera on my laptop. You just want to smooth it on over. Here we go. Do the other side. Bring it out, and then I like to touch the lid right here, because when you open your eyes, there's always like that gap right there. It's not my favorite today. I usually do much better with makeup, with a mirror, but this is just going to have to work for the call. And a tip is like, even like holding up your lid like this and doing it, that's really helpful. So you don't get those lines and then making sure that you make sure it's really wet each time that you just and having it new is also important. I think this is also getting old. So now I'm going to take this brush is from Uve. It's an antimicrobial brush and all their stuff is antimicrobial, which is amazing. So I'm just going to brush off what I use to catch out the fallout, the translucent powder. Wipe that off.
And then just wipe everything off, get it all off. And then just use the powder to blend. Excuse me. And then now we're going to use Essence Slash. I like this. It's like vegan, cruelty free. It's at Ulta. Um, and it's not too inexpensive. And you want to make sure that you're also getting new mascara like every couple months. Don't want it to clump up. get some new mascara it's clumping for sure so make sure that you get new mascara every couple months so that you have beautiful lashes but this is just gonna have to do for a coaching call And this is like big, basic makeup. I'm trying to get ready really quickly. So probably now we're going on 34 minutes. And then I'll just throw some lips on. And I'll go and grab that real quick. Okay, so we have MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. We're gonna do this, do the outlining. Got that lip liner down. Then we do this one. I believe it's cream de nude. It is. We're gonna go right here. See, you're able to get that two tone. And then now we want like the three tone ombre lip. So we're gonna take this, it's by MAC as well. It is Bo 331 Lip Glass, I believe. And we are gonna take it, and we're just gonna put a few dots in the inside. Smack it together. Then I'm ready for my coaching calls. So check out my coaching videos. Check out my daily meditations, my guided meditation videos. I hope that you like this video of me doing my makeup. I had a few people request it, so I hope it was helpful. And I'm going to go do my hair now and complete the look. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys subscribe. Please be kind. Everybody does makeup differently. And I hope you guys learned some stuff from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.